Hello guys, it's your lovable friend Talon here to spin another yarn of HVAC goodness. Well, we'll see what happens. I want to talk a little bit about running a unit with low charge for an extended period of time. Now, we all know we have people who fill up their units with charge on a yearly basis. It's always like, I need a couple pounds, summer's here, sort of people. Well, and a lot of guys on here that when I had a video where that sort of thing has happened or someone else has, will say that that's illegal, which in fact it's not. It's not illegal to recharge a unit in a residential setting under a certain amount of pounds of refrigerant charge. And I want to say the pound is it's quite high. I want to say it's 100, but someone can clarify that. But it's not illegal in residential, basically, is what I'm saying. You can top off charge all the live long day until they take the bottle away from you in 2000 and whenever. And we're talking about R22. And we're talking about America. So you run a unit with low charge for long periods of time. And what happens is even though you're gassing it up every year, you still have periods of time after you gas it up where the refrigerant velocity drops. Refrigerant velocity drops, and what happens is the oil doesn't travel through the system very well. Now, what'll happen in one case that I've just been talking to a gentleman about is the refrigerant velocity has dropped enough to clog a TXV with oil, which happens quite a bit. We see oily TXVs. You take out a TXV on a system where the refrigerant charge has been low for a long time, and there's just oil everywhere inside of it. I've seen it before myself. I think I've had it in a few videos. I know a ream package unit I worked on has one of the TXVs that runs in both heating and cooling and it was full of oil when I finally removed it. Now, can you clean them out with nitrogen? I don't know how successful you're going to be. I don't know how successful you'd be running AC Renew through them. That's something like Ralph has talked about with the compressor rust inhibitor problem. I don't know. I don't know if that'd be successful or not. That's a cost-effective way to try, though. But you have oil that can be logged in other parts of the system because the ref refrigerant velocity is low. And it's the point of this is to say that recharging a unit every year, even though it feels like, hey, I solved the problem for another year, you're really not. There's other issues that are happening. Inefficiencies will occur. Your TXV begins to get blocked. It runs poorly. The system runs poorly. It uses more energy to do the same thing. It's just better to take care of the situation the right way, which is fix the leak the old-fashioned way with your torches, not with a bottle of Super Leak Stop. Do the whole drill. Get the torches, fix the leak. That way you have a definite, long-lasting solution. But I just want to talk a little bit about that uh, low charge, low refrigerant velocity for an extended period.